the lumber industry has a long history in the Upper Delaware region, going back as far as the late 1700s when Daniel Skinner and many other lumberjacks sought their fortunes by floating logs down the Delaware River to Philadelphia for building ships, furniture, and houses. In remembrance of that industry that led to the creation of the towns and villages on the Upper Delaware River, Narrowsburg established logging days in partnership with the New York State Lumberjack Association to celebrate this region's heritage. Now in its fifth year, logging days in Narrowsburg attracts a diverse crowd of over 3,000 spectators from all over the Northeastern United States. The number of vendors grows each year and includes food trucks, distilleries, breweries, bakeries, and craft vendors from the Pocono and Catskill Mountains. The Lumberjack competition consists of several events with competitors participating in all events or specializing in just one or two events. The New York State Lumberjack Association sets up competitive events all over New York State. Talk to me, Chris. What's up? Uh, well, I'm a competitor. Uh, I guess I'd be considered the local guy, even though I'm, I live over in New Paltz. I'm about an hour and a half away from here, but I've helped organize the show for the last five years, and uh, we bring in the New York State Lumberjack Association, and we put on a woodchopping competition. Points are awarded based on accuracy. The bullseye, which is a three-inch diameter circle, in the center is worth three points. The nine-inch diameter circle is worth two points, and the 18-inch diameter circle is worth one point. Anything outside that is worth nothing. Each competitor gets three practice throws and five competition throws. One, go! All right, smooth and steady wins the race in the bow saw. They're both well into their cuts, using their whole bodies. Beautiful cutting by both of these ladies. And it looks like Cecilia's off just a scotch before Brenda. And there's Brenda. Beautiful. Stand to your timber. Standing block, which is like cutting a tree down in the forest. Uh, Let's hear your best cheers. Stand to your timber. Three, two, one, go. Tavi's got power on his side for sure. Yeah, Tim's got years and years of experience. Savvy's already going up, but Tim's not far behind him. Savvy's just going with those big blows. Is he going to drive it off? Oh my gosh, did he do enough work in the front? I don't think Tim could still catch him. Oh, like Tim is going to be right behind him. Come on, Tim, keep it going for Tim. Yeah. Underhand, which is, would be the method that they used to buck up the logs way back in the day in logging day. So you stand up on the log and swing the axe in between your feet. Stand to your timber. Three, two, one, go. most fun I've seen here has been springboard. Tell me oh, about that. Now the springboard, that's a, it's a nine foot log. You put the block up on top. The competitors are gonna cut two pockets. They put in a board, which has got a metal clip on it that essentially holds it like this into the log. Hop up on it, cut another pocket, hop up on it again, and then chop the block in half. Very well, so for safety, he's going to stick at the top. Meanwhile, 
Meanwhile, Ben has caught up to him, and Ben's got a big hole already in his spot, but see if Brian can catch up. The wood looks very good, thanks to Hope and Logging. which is probably the most exciting for a lot of people because it's just Frankenstein chainsaws built out of uh, snowmobile motors, four-wheeler motors, anything that's a motor, really. That's cool. And there's only uh, a couple rules that you got to be able to pull start it and uh, carry it. We heard about this awesome event called Hot Saw. Yes. And then we walk away from, from over there and we see this monster. Yep. Tell me about this thing. So this started life as a 250cc Suzuki dirt bike. And then um, through some machining and fabricating, it became a chainsaw. And uh, we pick it up and we put it through wood really fast. How fast? Uh, that chain spends about 200 miles an hour. You're in a heat and uh, you start, if it doesn't start on that first pull, you're out of the race. Because uh, everybody else, you'll see three second cuts today on, wow. on the 8x8s. Wow. Wow. Yep. Three, two, one. Go! Woo! Three, two, one, go! The day also features face painting, kids games, and archery range. Here on your left, and this is Ben from Connecticut here on your right. Bonfires, baking contest, mind dancing, hey! and a beard and mustache contest. This is one of our favorite fall events. We're looking forward to the 2025 logging days and seeing our favorite lumberjacks and Jills compete next year. For event dates and information, go to welcometonarrowsburg.com. Are you looking to buy or sell a property in the Northern Poconos? Then your first and only call should be to Davis Archant Realtors. Hi, I'm Lorraine Collins, president of Davis R. Chant Realtors. And I'm Abby pittenger -Claus, vice president of Chant Realtors. And we're here at one of our lakefront listings on Lake Wall and Paw Pack. Since 1964, Davis R. Chant Realtors has grown from one office in Milford to five offices throughout Pike and Wayne County. With more than 90 agents working seven days a week, we have happily helped 50,000 families buy and sell their homes. The Northern Poconos is a wonderful place to live. We have great schools and so many activities throughout every single season. If you're looking to buy a home, vacation home, or investment property, we'd be happy to help you every step of the way. If you're looking to sell your home, give us at Davis R. Chant Realtors a call. Our agents put together a thoughtful but aggressive marketing plan to make sure that your home is put in front of your prospective buyer's eyes quickly. For more information on the current real estate market, stop in at one of our five offices or visit our website at chantre.com. Peace, love, and pumpkins at Bethel Woods gets better every year. And the best night to experience true terror is Friday Night Frights, which doesn't start until there's full darkness around 6.30 p.m. 
many choose to enjoy the local market featuring a variety of products and haunted by other spirits. Peace Love and Pumpkins is in its fourth year. It wasn't long before the darkness fell upon us and we could begin our adventure on the dimly lit sidewalks winding through the historic site of the original Woodstock Music Festival. On Friday Night Frights, creatures emerge from the shadows and you are greeted at the entrance by a creepy evil monk with a warning of the dangers you may encounter if you do not heed his words. As we pass through the arched entrance, the first display we encounter is a spooky Bethel Woods bus. Followed by Rural America with scarecrows, a ghostly farmer, and other surprises. That's the last thing I remember. Christmas, 1965. Now it's Halloween. I don't get it. I went outside to smoke a cigarette. That's the last thing I remember. They're <coughs> 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 all sick. They're sick and they're coming. Halfway through the walk, there's an opportunity to grab food, drinks, and to warm yourself by the fire. Every year, there's a special display featuring an item used in a film or movie. And this year's exhibit featured a futuristic car designed for Woody Allen's 1973 film, Sleeper. From there, we enter the Jurassic period with dinosaurs, ghouls, and a caveman leading to the Dead End Cemetery home of lots of creepy skeletons and Beetlejuice. We cross the bridge and come across a haunted house where the inhabitant tries to get unexpected victims to join his supernatural circus. There are ghosts everywhere just waiting to jump out at you when you least expect it. Just because he had the same ace as I did, well, I'll tell you what, I'm stuck here in pumpkin land until I can find him and even up the score. Now, you ain't seen him down the trail, have you? You wouldn't be lying at me, would you? Peace Loving Pumpkins has all of the displays that people love, including the icons and ghosts of Woodstock. It was just a short walk to the Bethel Woods Museum and the outdoor market with live folk music. The museum is open during Peace, Love and Pumpkins to learn about the history of Woodstock. Peace, Love and Pumpkins always takes place the last two weeks of October and next year is the fifth year anniversary. And the final Friday Night Frights is on Halloween. And let's not forget, peace, love, and lights, starting right after Thanksgiving. See you next year. Rocco, so we're doing a pet parade. So we're going to parade around Central Park, and then afterwards, we're going to have some fun games like best wiggle butt, treat toss, musical sit stay, just some fun things for the dogs. They're all getting dressed up in costume. All this is to benefit Destin Animal Shelter. This is our third year. We've had some great couple of years, and we've been hoping to continue to grow it all to benefit them. I want our next door. Yeah, we'll get the
It's fantastic. My sister and I uh, have the two dogs and we decided, we went to the vets actually and we saw the flyer and we said we have to do it because we dress them up all the time anyway. So it, it's fantastic. <laughs> We usually, it, it's been varying based on how things have fallen. It's just unfortunately our other fundraiser was a couple weeks before that, so we had to push it back. But we always try to do it around the Halloween time frame. And I think next year we'll try to incorporate it more towards the Harvest Fest, which is what our goal is. So we'll see how things continue on. <laughs> but we love doing it, so I want to continue on the tradition. <laughs> Every minute, if I would take home every dog if I could. <laughs> I'm waiting to hit the lottery so I can get a farm and get all the dogs. <laughs> If you're looking for that Victorian holiday experience, take a short trip across the Delaware River to Calicoon for their annual Dickens on the Delaware. Nestled high in the Catskill Mountains, Calicoon on the banks of the Delaware River is gaining a great reputation for food and drink at its many local establishments. Formed in 1842, Main Street in Calicoon still features many of the historic buildings filled with eateries, unique shops, and even a home goods store featuring curated items from all across the world. Dickens on the Delaware featured several events including walking tours of downtown, pictures with Santa in the historic Calicoon train depot, and performances by carolers throughout the day. Taking a horse-drawn carriage ride down Main Street transports you back in time to the mid-19th century. The town also features unique places to stay and events like movies in the 1940s era theater 
a trip to Calicou is a great item to add to your holiday list. Sterling Business and Technology Park is currently divided into 23 lots ranging in size from 3 to 30 acres. Each lot in the park is KLZ certified for companies that qualify. The Sterling Business and Technology Park is perfectly located just off Exit 17 on Interstate 84 in northeastern Pennsylvania, just under two hours from New York City. If you would like to explore locating your business at the Sterling Business and Technology Park, visit sterlingbusinesspark.com. Experience rejuvenation inside and out with Northwoods Aesthetics and Wellness. Be on top of your game with our IV hydration and IV nutrition services loaded with essential amino acids, vitamins, minerals, and powerful antioxidants for optimal health and well-being. Craving for that youthful glow? Our Botox and lip filler services are sure to turn back the clock. Embrace wellness. Embrace life at Northwoods Aesthetics and Wellness. Breathe new life into your wellness journey. The holidays are almost upon us, and soon... Winter will arrive in the Pocono Mountains. For those of us that love snowfall and all the winter activities that the season has to offer, like skiing, snowshoeing, ice fishing, and hot chocolate around a fire, it's a time of year that makes living in the Pocono Mountains an adventure. It is also the time of year for some great winter events. Holly's Winterfest has attracted people from all over the world to the small northeastern Pennsylvania hometown. With a long-standing history of community celebrations dating back to 1884, merchants decorate their shops for Holly Winterfest, with Mother Nature often adding her own special magic to the event. Winterfest was started in 1999 to celebrate Holly's historic roots, and over the years, the focus changed to include building and honoring a strong sense of community. It didn't matter if you lived here or were just passing through, you became a part of the local tapestry. Holly is known for its community of artisans and craftspeople, so picking up a one-of-a-kind unique gift for someone in your life is as easy as walking down Main Street. The weekend typically features over 50 events throughout the town during a three-day celebration. Santa will be there again for the annual Holly Winterfest Parade and afterwards spend time with the children in Bingham Park updating his Christmas list. The Arcadia Choral Group will be performing on Friday evening and many of our favorite activities are back, like gingerbread house building and gingerbread people decorating at venues throughout town as well as the annual cookie walk. The Ritz Theater will present their annual Christmas show on Saturday and Sunday. If you would like to arrive at Winterfest in style, join Santa on the Christmas Tree Express train, traveling between Honesdale and Holly on Saturday and Sunday. Other activities taking place during the event include live music at many local venues and a live nativity play, holiday craft vendors, an ugly sweater contest, the Winterfest Beer Tour, and so much more. The entire town will be adorned with lights and Christmas decorations. And don't forget, you can also take a horse-drawn sleigh ride through town to see all the sights. For more information and a full list of events for Holly Winterfest, go to hollywinterfest.com. Peace, love, and lights on the grounds of the historic Bethel Wood Center for the Arts. This marvelous holiday drive through experience is back and better than ever before. This holiday excursion features a few fan favorites like the mesmerizing magical mega trees. We checked into the holiday hub to grab a quick bite to eat, warm up, create some magical holiday crafts, and sway along to the sweet tunes of live entertainment. A tree of love will come my way A guilty woman in my arms and know the magic of her charms because I want You can enjoy this holiday treat from the comfort of your own vehicle and you can tune in to the Bethel Woods radio station and hear some holiday standards or create your own soundtrack to the season. 
as you enjoy these magical motifs. The approximate time to drive through is about 30 to 35 minutes. And the fun doesn't end when your drive is over. You can head back to the Holiday Hub, dine by the fire with comfort food, a DIY s'mores kit, and holiday drinks. We thoroughly enjoyed this festive drive through light display filled with images of the holiday season. This year's themes include New York, holidays around the world, Snowflake Alley, Christmas, Candy Cane Lane, Enchanted Forest, and the always favorite, Groovy Way. For hours and days of operation and event add-on offers, visit BethelwoodCenter.org. There's always something special to do at the Bethelwood Center for the Arts. The holidays are just around the corner, and for many, this is a time of joy, family traditions, and celebration. But for some, it can be a very difficult time of the year, for any number of reasons. This year, make a difference in the life of a young child by donating a toy, contributing, volunteering your time, or hosting a drop-off site for this year's Holiday Tour Drive for Pike and Wayne County. Monetary donations are especially important to purchase toys for kids in age ranges where there may not be enough donated toys. The Wayne County Ford and Bold Gold Media Holiday Toy Drive Challenge has partnered with the Zipper Junction Project to make this year's toy drive a huge success. In addition to toys, volunteers are needed to help collect and distribute gifts. You can host a holiday toy drive event or party to help collect toys or host a drop box at your business where the community can drop off toys and donations. To register, visit zipperjunction.org forward slash holiday toy drive or call 570-390 7066. All toys should be new unwrapped gifts for children up to age 18. By supporting the Holiday Toy Drive, you can make a difference for children in Wayne and Pike counties and make sure their holidays are filled with happy memories. You can also drop off toys at Wayne County Ford on 191 Texas Palmyra Highway in Honesdale. Be sure to look for the official Holiday Toy Drive logo on drop boxes at participating locations. For details and up-to-date information, visit zipperjunction.org or call Wally Life every Monday at 9 p.m. on Blue Ridge Communications Channel 13 for the latest in life around Lake Wallenpawpat.